to come forward and talk about her struggles with an eating disorder. First off, that's impossible. Second, she doesn't even look like she could have an eating disorder from that picture. And third, she's still a selfish, obnoxious brat who only cares about money, fame, and how she looks. Definitely not a good role model. But this is a free country, so she can do whatever she wants. Go for it, girl. Breaking news. A famous celebrity has been diagnosed with cancer. Oh, no. I love them so much. I'm so sorry that that happened to them. It's not fair. They're so brave. I'm praying for a speedy recovery. I hope the family is doing well. This is so sad. So I did not make up those comments. Those comments came from the same exact celebrity gossip magazine. And as you can see, the reaction to someone having an eating disorder and to someone being diagnosed with cancer is completely different. And that makes me really angry. Eating disorders are serious business, but oftentimes when you see them getting reported in the media, there's sarcastic comments, there's jokes about it in the article itself. And then in the comments, you've got people making personal attacks, and uh, just demeaning the person who's struggling. But the truth is, no matter what someone is struggling with, it should be treated with respect and compassion. But that's just not the case when people talk about eating disorders a lot of the time. So we're gonna just devote the whole month of February to eating disorders because I really don't think people get it. So hopefully this will help people to see that an eating disorder isn't a joke and it's not funny. It's not something that should be glamorized and it's not something that should be made fun of and it's about way, way more than just weight and numbers. So we're gonna talk about all of that, maybe not in this video, but in the ones to come, and hopefully kind of destigmatize them a little bit. So let's get started. Ha ha ha, that's so funny. I'm laughing so hard. Ha 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 ha, that's not funny. And you know, those are just things that can be measured through statistics and, and things like that. It doesn't talk about what it is that they are actually fighting, and it's a really hard fight. You got this voice in your head that's constantly berating you. You know, eating, getting dressed, showering, just going out and hanging out with friends, out in public, you know, it's... It's difficult, it's not easy, those things are really hard. It's a full out mental battle. And the deeper you get into it, the harder it gets to fight, the harder it gets to pull yourself out of it. It takes away your whole life, it takes away your friends, it takes away your relationships, it takes away your ability to do good in school, it takes away your drive, your motivation. It just touches every aspect of your life and it takes away the pleasure that you used to find. And it's not recognized as the battle that it really is, it's really not. It's I think a lot of people view it as a choice and something that people want, so why can't they have it? It's not a choice. No one would choose this. Nobody. Contrary to popular belief, it's not all about weight. That does play a role and our culture is really weight conscious, but other things contribute to it. Problems in the family. There's a genetic disposition that goes into it. Having a history of physical, emotional, or sexual abuse. All these things combined in an eating disorder. It's, you know, it's a way to cope with all the stuff going on, a way to have a sense of control when it seems like you don't have control over anything else, a way to numb out. An eating disorder, it's a very tip of the iceberg. That's what you can see. But really, there's a bunch of stuff going on underneath, a whole bunch more stuff that needs to be dealt with. And you know, a lot of times eating disorders are comorbid with things like depression, anxiety, or PTSD, and... So it's not just one thing by itself. They are devastating. They aren't a joke at all. They aren't something that should be joked about and they should be something that people take a little bit more time to try to understand because they are on the rise. And if you don't know what, really anything about eating disorders except for what you've heard from the media, then I challenge you to go out and read. There's articles, there are books. I challenge you to go out and read about them, educate yourself so that you can maybe understand a little bit. We're going to end the video here for now, and I know this didn't really offer a lot of information or a lot of resources, but we're going to get you all that information in later videos this month. I'll see you guys next week for the next Wake Up Wednesday video. We'll get a little bit more informative. Thanks for sticking with me. Bye.